Right, thank you, Pute. I got your messages that you can hear me, right? So, uh, so we are going to start per past perfect tense today, right? So this is a lesson you have done in your classroom, but just a bit of revision and then we are moving to passive voice, right? So before starting, again, I would like to say good morning and welcome to the English session. Uh, so before starting, I would like to show you a small video, right? Okay. Can you see the video? Our today was okay. It turned out okay, but I had some problems along the way. Why? What happened? It started when I was getting ready to meet Anne. After I had brushed my teeth, I used some mouthwash to make sure my breath would be extra fresh. At first, I was fine. Though it was a strong taste, but the taste got more intense as I rinsed my teeth, and my mouth felt like it was on fire. Then I looked at the bottle I had used. I realized I had rinsed my mouth with aftershave instead of mouthwash. The mouthwash and aftershave bottles were right next to each other. I quickly rinsed my mouth and used the mouthwash from the right bottle this time. He must have been pretty distracted to make that kind of mistake. Did everything else go okay? Unfortunately, no. I went to get dressed and realized I had left my best shirt in the washer. I had meant to put it in the dryer before I started getting ready. I went to get it from the washer, but my mother had already put it in the dryer. I was relieved until I took it out. The shirt had shrunk. Oh no, we should find something else to wear. I was running short on time, so I threw on a different shirt and ran out the door. I got to the restaurant in the nick of time. I sat at a table to wait for Anne to arrive. After I had waited for a few minutes, I realized I had put my shirt on inside out. This had never happened to me before last night. I went to the bathroom to fix it. When I came back, a waiter had given my table to someone else. I told the server what had happened, but he said I would have to wait for another table. After about 10 minutes, I told them that I had waited long enough. They finally gave me a new table, apologizing that they had made a mistake. Did Ann show up? No, I began to get frustrated. I had been sitting at a table for about 15 minutes when Ann called me. She sounded upset. She said that she had waited for me for over 20 minutes. She had left the restaurant and was in her car, about to go home. How come you never saw her? I asked her where she had sat at Taqueria Loca, and she sounded surprised. She had been at Taqueria San Jose. <laughs> Since I already had a table, I told her to come to Taqueria Loca. Then Anne made it to the restaurant, right? Yes, she did. After 10 minutes had passed, Anne finally showed up. When I saw her, 
I felt the weight had been worth it. We stayed at the restaurant for a long time, eating and talking. Did you have much in common? Yes, we did. It turns out she had listened to most of the same music I did when I was a teenager. She even played on a basketball team, just like me. Right. So, uh, I just pause the video because I want to carry on the lesson and then later we will move on to the video, right? There's a nice story in the video anyway, right? Okay, children. Now, uh, did you notice when you just uh, watch the video and when you see the lines, did you notice the red, color, red font which was used in the dialogue? Yes. Right, so what are the words you saw? Can you tell me some of the verbs you see? There was this, right? Had brushed, it was there. And then had turned up. had made. There are several other verbs, right? So now can you tell me how can you have form the past perfect tense? How can you form the past perfect tense? How is the verb form? Can you see the presentation? This is how you form the verb, right? You have to take had plus past participle, right? Had plus past participle. So what is past participle? You can see I have given some examples. Had asked, had started, had played, had written, had gone, had read. So what is past participle, Putte? You'll just have a look there. Right, look at the next one. So when you have the past participles, there are two ways, right? Because when you take a verb in English, you have two types of verbs according to the past form, right? That is regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs are the verbs we make using ed to make the past tense, right? And irregular verbs, they change their spellings, they change their form, right? So that is why we have called them as irregular verbs. There are regular verbs and irregular verbs. So using these uh, past participles only, we can make the past perfect tense, right? Right, now look at this. When do we use past perfect tense? We use past perfect tense, right? To talk about an action that had finished before another action in the past. Right? That is, for example, look at the given timeline here. So I have divided the timeline into three parts. First you have the first arrow given, brush my teeth. In the second arrow, go to bed. Third arrow, sleep. So those three actions, brush my teeth is the one in the past right and go to bed these in the middle now you are in the sleep right so if those three actions are there if we want to tell it in a sentence now you have already finished brushing your teeth right so that we are going to tell it in a sentence like this i had brushed my teeth 
before I went to bed. I had brushed my teeth before I went to bed. So brush my teeth is the finished action. It is already finished, right? So we have to use past perfect in that place. Whereas went is the just finished action, action right? So that is why we use past perfect for the first action and the other action is in simple past, right? So this is about the action we have finished before another action in the past. So both actions are in the past. One has already finished, the other is next, right? So that is the idea. I hope it is clear for you. Now we are going to talk more about this. So I want you to take out your writing books and first note this down, the previous slide. Just uh, note this down in your writing books with the how to form the word, how to form the verb, had plus past participle. And in our classroom, there are grade 10 students here, right? Lively participating. So I'm going to take them for my activities, right? Your friends are here. Finish writing. I hope the time is enough. Now go to the next slide, right? Now, if you want, you can note this down too, right? How to make this a uh, Past participles. I have not completed the regular verbs because it's easy, right? Play, played, jump, jumped, where you have to add just ed. Discussed, invited, organized. And in the irregular verbs, there are more, right? I have taken only five here just to show you, but you have to study on your own because this is a lesson we have already done from uh, grade eight onwards, right? Even in grade six, you learn the tenses. So what you have to do is you have to always remember the irregular verbs because of these perfect tenses. And also if you want to do passive well, you should always memorize them, right? Is the time enough? Right, so yeah, 
Which one do you want, Pute? This one or the earlier one? Is it the tense, the regular and irregular verbs? Sit to me. Which one, Pute? This page. When to use? The earlier one, right? Okay. This one. Okay, see to me. Right, shall we move to the next slide? Okay, now I want you to look at the board, right? Shall we move the slides? I hope you have finished writing, right? Stop right, so look at this Pute now. I just want to highlight this point, right? Now, when you are making sentences in past perfect tense, you don't have to worry about the singular and plural forms, right? Whether it is I, we, you, they, or he, she, right? You have to use only had plus past participle. PP is for past participle, right? Now, here I have taken only the pronouns. Now, just imagine if you have a singular noun, a name, right? Again, it's had. Plural noun, had, right? Nothing to change there, right? So this is very easy, but the only thing is you have to know the past participle of each and every verb. You have to be sure of yourselves, right? Okay, again, I'm going to 
going to the presentation right right so look at this picture right look at the first picture what is the boy doing he's running right he's running and there's the school bus so what has happened when the boy comes is the was the bus there it was not there right now we want to tell it in a sentence using past perfect so how are you going to put it in a sentence right look at the sentence when he arrived the school bus had left when he arrived the school bus had left right bus had already gone right this is what happens to most of us right even for you when you get get up late in the morning although your mothers do everything for you you will miss your bus right that is what happens although you run to the bus sometimes you will miss the bus right okay now i have a small activity for you to do there are four sentences right i want you to quickly write answers for these four sentences i want to see whether you have understood how to form past perfect verb form right quickly write answers i think uh, about 4 5 minutes will be enough right think well right whether it should be simple past or it should be past perfect right think well and do the activity
Right, have you finished doing? Shall we discuss the answers? I want you to uh, tell me, right, your answers. Right, so look at the first one. Was Tom at the party when you arrived? No, he home. What is the answer? So you can send us a photo right in your WhatsApp group. Anyway, what is the answer here? No, he had gone home, right? It should be had gone. Yes, Vidushini, good. You have sent us the answer. It's correct, right? Had gone. Second one, I felt very tired when I got home. So I straight to bed. What is the answer? Since she was so he was tired. Yes, again, answer is had gone. Good, now you are sending us answers, right? The house was very quiet when I got home. Everybody to bed. Everybody. What is the answer? Had gone. Same answer. Imashi, good. Sorry, I am late. The car down on my way. The car. What is the answer? Oh, what is the past participle of break? Now you have made a mistake. Yes, uh, Dulani, Kavisha, your answers are correct. Udupihila, your answer is correct. It should be head broken. B R O K E N, head broken. Okay? So I hope you have got your answers correct. I hope it's clear now. Right? Okay. Right. Now, Pute, we have already learned past perfect tense. Learned means I have revised this, right? I revised this because we are going to learn past perfect passive lesson today, right? Direct, without directly starting passive voice, I just want to revise you the lesson on past perfect tense, right? So, uh, I think it will be okay if we watch the rest part of the video now and then start passive voice. What do you think? Shall we watch the video, the rest part of it? Because you have to know the story of the video, right? What happened to him? Right, we will see. Thank you. 
bicycle for the third form of the verb. We use the past perfect to express a past action finished before another action in the past. When I came back, a waiter had given my table to someone else. I asked her where she had sat at Taqueria Loca. After 10 minutes had passed, Anne finally showed up. I went to get the shirt from the washer, but my mother had already put it in the dryer. I had meant to... Okay, children. So, did you enjoy the video? Right? A nice experience, right? Right. So, from the video, what you learned was past perfect, right? Past perfect. And still, we are talking about active voice, right? Still, we are talking about active voice, right? So, no, look at this part. I just want to highlight these things again. Right, I hope you can see the screen. Had plus past participle, right? But we have discussed how to form the verb. And then look at the first thing. We use the past perfect to express a past action finished before another action in the past. Right? We express a past action finished before another action. Atite vecha siduim de king. Calling even an action, right? So we use past perfect to talk about that action. So look at the examples. Those are taken from the video, right? When I came back, a waiter had given my table to someone else. So came back, had given. See the use of two words? After 10 minutes, had passed and finally showed up. Had passed, showed up. Right? 10 minutes tama isa lagi. It passed tama yan nawe. Right? So see the arrangement of verbs. Verbs, right? I went to get the shirt from the washer, but my mother had already put it in the dryer. Had put. Right? And look at the second situation. We also use the past perfect. To show that something happened before a specific time in the past. This had never happened to me before last night. Right? So, something that had never happened to him. Right? To show that something happened before a specific time in the past. Again, we are talking of the past action. I hope it's clear. Right? Okay, children, now we'll start moving to passive voice, one of your very favorite lessons. Right? I know you like passive voice very much. Right. So now we are talking about passive voice and it's again past perfect tense, right? Past perfect passive. Right? So now, how can we form the verb to make a passive voice verb form? It's easy again, right? We use had plus be double e and been plus past participle. Right? Had be double e and been past participle. PP for past participle. Right? So what you have to remember is if it is past perfect tense, right? You have already have had in your verb form. What you have to remember is if it is perfect tense, right? Just perfect tense, you have already, you have, you have to use be, be double e and be, right? I'm talking about perfect tense. If it is continuous, we use be ing, but here it's perfect, so you have to use be double e and be plus past participle. Right? Can you repeat how to form the verb? 
yes had plus b double e and b in plus past participle the students in the classroom who are participating lively i'm talking to you can you repeat this yes pute tell had plus been plus past participle to make a passive voice verb form in past perfect right okay look at this example now i'll give you time to write later right I hope you can see the last part, right? The baby had eaten an apple, right? So here's the subject, the baby, and this is the verb, had eaten, right? And then you have an apple. So what should we do first? If it is passive, what are you going to do? Yes? this is the person who is doing it so when we are using passive voice what you have to do is we always take the doer of the action to the back of the sentence right and the object comes to the front right object comes front whereas the doer goes to the back right so if we are to write the sentence an apple how do you form the verb had b double e n been eaten is the past participle of eat right eaten so you are adding the doer so you have to use by the baby baby is the doer of the action i will write this part here right because you can't see the board if i write in that side right a, a simple sentence i have taken now ah, some of you had sent me the answers good right an apple had been eaten by the baby so this is how you make the passive voice verb form right so this per, 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 past perfect passive is very easy because you have already get the past participle here and had this there this is the place you have on you have only to change right but remember to change the subject and the object right is that clear putte right so now we we'll go back to the presentation right right so here is it passive voice had plus been plus past participle look at the given example manel had painted her room right manel had painted her room so had painted is the verb right so what are, what we are going to do is we change the subject and the object her room had been painted by manel so manel is the doer of the action the person who is doing right now when when we use passive voice we always have the person who is doing it in the 
person who is doing the action at the back, back of the sentence, right? So that is the doer, right? So you can note this down in your books. Finish writing, Pute? Okay, we'll go to the next slide. Right. Again, you have two more examples. Look at this again. The children had invited the teacher to see the exhibition. Right? The children had invited the teacher to see the exhibition. So you have to first identify the verb here. What is the verb here? had invited. So I have already underlined that, right? And if you get quite a long sentence, what you have to do first to, is to identify the subject and the verb, right? And just uh, using your pencils, you can have a bracket for the unnecessary part. Right? So here, so here, the children had invited the teacher to see the exhibition. You can see I have put brackets to that part to see the exhibition. Right? And now we are going to make this sentence into passive. Right? So you can see the arrow in my presentation. The teacher, right, comes to the front and the children goes to the back. The, children, the teacher had been invited by the children and you can write the rest of the sentence to see the exhibition, right? Is that clear? Now, when you are given an activity, there can be long sentences, right? So just don't get upset about the long sentences. What you have to do is read the sentence very carefully and just uh, put brackets through the unnecessary part, right? Take the, I mean, the significant part of the sentence and make it passive and then add the rest of the part, right? Hope it is clear. I have some more examples. Do you want to write this down? No, right. Right, look at this. Now this is different, right? Why I say different, this is a negative sentence. The boys had not completed the homework. The boys had not completed the homework. So what you have to do is put this negative sentence into passive, right? So look at this. This is again, it's not difficult. It's different only, right? The homework comes to the front. The homework had not been completed. So you have to put not between had and been, right? The homework had not been completed by the boys, right? Look at the next sentence. It's a question, right? Had the prefects organized the exhibition? Had the prefects organized the exhibition? 
So sentence is given to make it into passive, right? So had is there, what you have to do is you have to exchange the places of the subject and the object, right? Had the exhibition been organized by the prefix? Had the exhibition been organized by the prefix? I hope these three examples are clear for you. If you have anything you can't understand where I have to repeat the things, you can tell me, right? You can leave a message in the chat or otherwise unmute your mics and speak. If you want me to explain this part again, right? Until that, I'm going to give you an activity. Before that, uh, do you want me to do some uh, more sentences in the blackboard? What do you prefer, Bhutte? You want more sentences? Is that clear? Clear, okay. If you have any questions, you can have it. Till then we'll go to the activity. Right. There are five sentences. I made a mistake. Now last one is the fifth one, right? So just don't worry about that. Five sentences are there. Put them into passive, right? Read the sentences well and put them into passive.
Right, children, I hope you have enough time to do the activity and some of you have already sent us answers and I have gone through them. They have done it correctly. So we'll discuss the answers. You can mark your answers, right? And later, especially my the students in my class, you can send me the answers of your answers of yours through WhatsApp, right? Okay, look at the first one. Mr. Pereira had completed all the documents. So how are you going to put this into passive voice? All the documents had been completed by Mr. Pereira. All the documents had been, been completed by Mr. Pereira, right? Second one, the students had arranged the assembly in the morning. So here, the assembly should come first, right? The assembly had been arranged by the students in the morning, right? Next one, it's a question put there, right? Had the members prepared their lunch? So you should always remember to put the question mark in the passive voice question also. Now I just went through the books of the students who are there in the classroom. They have not put the question mark, right? So you have to put the question mark there. Had the members prepared their lunch? So how are you going to make it passive? Had their lunch been prepared by the members had their lunch been prepared by the members is it clear and put the question mark also right next one mala and amal had not returned their books to the library so that sentence is a negative sentence their books had not been returned to the library by Mala and Amal, right? Their books had not been returned to the library by Mala and Amal. Last one, the parents had organized a Shramadana campaign. A Shramadana campaign had been organized by the parents. So two of you have raised your hands. If you have any question, you can ask now. Any questions, Pute? You are sending answers in the chat. It's okay, answers are correct up to this point. What is the question of these two participants? Uh, can we see the names? Up? Okay, you can unmute and talk if you have a question, right? Devindi. Yes, Devindi. Madam Athena, Mala and Amala. Amal Kiyanaka, the fourth one, Nikki. Devin, the bit louder, I can't hear you. Madam, me fourth one, Nikki, their books Devin, had not been returned by Mala. Devin, the, a message would be better, right? Since I can't hear you. I know you are saying Madam, something, but I can't hear it properly. Okay. Okay, Madam. And uh, back to the activity. Ah, yes, that, this is what I'm going to talk, right? Even you can have uh, answers like this. Yes, uh, Samadhi I'm, and Gina, I'm going to talk about this again, right? Mala and Amal had not written their books to the library. In that sentence, you can uh, write in two ways, right? They are books had not been returned 
to the library by Mala, Mala and Amal, or you can say their books had not been returned to the return by Mala and Amal to the library. Either way you can write, right? Only thing is you have to take their books to the front and you have to change the verb form, right? In the, even in the last one, they are pa the parents had organized a Shramadana campaign, right? They, of course, you don't have a problem, right? What is the other sentence after they had? All right. Yeah, that is the only thing, right? Yes. Fourth one, you can have either way. To the library, either way you can write, right? Devindi, you, did you have the same question? Ah, yes. I think Devindi also had. Repeat the answer. For the last one. Right, uh, Gina, this is last one. The parents had organized a Shramadana campaign. A Shramadana campaign had been organized by the parents. Okay? Hope it's clear now. Right, Gina. So that is your request. And Devindi had the same problem. Devindi, this one is also clear now. Shall we move to the next activity now? Okay. Now, what we are going to do is, I want you to take out your textbooks now. Right, put there. Stop. Right? Now take out your textbooks. Okay? Right. So in your textbooks, turn to page number 118. Page number 118. Right? So here you are given us activity, activity 9. Look at activity 9. This is the dialogue Radha and Radha had with Saroj after going to attend a job interview. Role play it with your partner. So just uh, read the dialogue yourselves and can you see the verbs in bold letters, right? It's just like the dial, just like the video I showed you, right? Perfect, past perfect and past perfect passive verbs are highlighted here. Did you notice that? He had been told about the particular vacancy by his uncle. So they are had been told. Right? It's a passive sentence. Then, my father had seen this advertisement in the last week's paper. So, had seen. It is not passive, it is active voice, past perfect. Right? After he had discussed, active voice, past perfect. Right? Had they asked, had invited, had not asked for any experience, but they had specified, right? Had already started. So now you should be able to identify the difference between past perfect active voice and passive voice, right? Because in your term test papers, in your O level paper, you won't get a direct activity to transform into passive, right? What you will get is there might be a dialogue or there might be a paragraph where you have to form the verbs, right? Verbs are given within brackets where you have to put them looking at the context, right? So you better read this uh, role play yourselves, right? And look at the learning point given. We have already discussed the things, page number 119, right? Past perfect tense, passive, right? 
we use past perfect tense to describe actions that had taken place before a particular point of time in the past. I'm repeating the things I have already discussed, right? So we use perfect tense to describe actions that had taken place before a particular point in the past. So according to the dialogue, they have made a timeline here, right? Where in the last week, the advertisers requested the applicants to apply and a point of time in the past, again in the past, Radha's father saw the advertisement and now what has happened, he had discussed with his mother and asked Radha to apply, right? So that is the procedure and you can understand now how to use the past perfect tense, right? Okay, now uh, last, point, last point here, the advertisers had requested, father had seen, he had discussed, all the things are in active voice, past perfect, right? And you are given two activities to make the uh, write the following sentences in passive voice in page number 120. Two activities are there. Since uh, all the sentences are very long sentences, I feel like you will be a bit panic, right? Right, before that, look at the example given. His uncle had told him about the particular vacancy, right? He had been told about the particular vacancy by his uncle. So that is the example given Pute. And mind you, this activity is not easy as the activity we have done, right? So I have written the first sentence in the board now. Look at it. All the members had unanimously selected Inura as the president at the last meeting, right? So this is the first sentence in your activity, page 120, right? So what you have to do is first read the sentence and like I told you, just put brackets to the unnecessary part. So what is the unnecessary part here? Yes, what is the unnecessary part? We have seven students in the class, right? They are very good. They give me answers, right? Okay, so all the members had unanimously selected Inura as the president at the last meeting. So from this point up to this point is unnecessary. And like Gauravi says, we can also bracket this. Right, Gauravi, good. Okay, so unanimously you can put within brackets and as the president at the last meeting, you can put a bracket, right? Now you have a simple sentence. All the members had selected Inura. So how are you going to make it passive, right? Inura had been selected by all the members, right? That is the simple sentence, right? But since you have given a long sentence, now you have to include these things too, right? So where are you going to include them? Inura had been selected as the president at the last meeting by all the members. Otherwise you can say Inura had been selected unanimously as the president at the last meeting by all the members. Do you want me to write that again in the board? Or can you write that for yourself? I think you can, right? Since I have already put the brackets and all, and it makes you easy. Isn't that so? Right? So you should, you should be able to write it like this. Inura 
Inura had been selected as the president at the last meeting by all the members, or otherwise you can write Inura had been selected as the president at the last meet. Sorry, I, I'm repeating the same thing again, right? Inura had been selected unanimously as the president at the last meeting by all the members, right? So this is the first sentence and there are four more sentences. I want you to do it along, right? If I give you about uh, five minutes, will you be do it and shall we discuss the answers? Vidushini. Yes, Vidushini, your answer is also correct, right? Right, Pute, I'll give you five minutes. Right, complete the activity. And then we'll discuss the answers and next we'll go to the next activity, right? I hope still no questions, right?
right pute time is enough shall we discuss the answers because we have to do another activity okay have you do, finished doing the activity look at the second sentence somebody had taken my pen while i was away in the playground right somebody had taken my pen while i was away in the playground excuse me pute have you completed the students who are there in the classroom now in my classroom yes yes so can i have your book to mark finish right uh, somebody had taken my pen while i was away in the playground so what is the unnecessary part here what is the unnecessary part what is the unnecessary part yes you can put brackets to this part while i was away in the playground eka poddakata amataka karan poddakata right and then somebody had taken my pen so my pen had been taken by somebody while i was away in the playground at that part to the end of the sentence is that clear my pen had been taken by somebody while i was away in the playground right okay any questions no third one mr perera had checked the power supply before he started operating the machine right so what is the unnecessary part unnecessary part means to make it easier for you right you can put within brackets before he started operating the machine before he started operating the machine you can put within brackets and take this part mr perera had checked the power supply so you can take the answer the power supply had been checked by mr perera before he started operating the machine right last one the principal had read the letter again before it was posted right so again before it was posted you can put within brackets right the letter had been read same spellings r e a d read the princip the letter had been read by the principal again before it was posted okay pute i hope the answers are clear for you if you have any question ask me i think it's easy madam fourth one okay dulani i'm going to repeat the answer for the fourth one nisali had arranged the classroom before she went home so the answer should be the classroom had been arranged by nisali before she went home so pute what you have to remember here is right when you make them passive voice sentences if the sentence is long always put the brackets within the unnecessary part and take the simple form and put it into passive and then add the rest of the sentence and keep that in your mind for the term test or for your o levels always try to write correct spellings right now vidushini has sent me the answers earlier there are some uh, spelling errors right so just try to avoid them right sahanya the letter the letter had been read again by the principal before right pute sahanya that is also correct the letter had been read again by the principal before it was posted it is also correct 
fourth one i repeated you want again sandali do you want to answer again fourth one okay i'll repeat again then the classroom had been arranged by nisali before she went home okay right we'll go to the last activity right activity 11 write the following negative sentences and questions in passive form passive voice so two examples are given had they uh, uh, had they had not asked for any experience right experience had not been asked for right experience kene ke isara hatenawa nik tika passe tiyana right had they asked for any particular qualifications so the passive voice one is had any particular qualifications been asked for and there are again five negative sentences and questions within 5 minutes will you be able to complete it right before that i have one sentence i have written this in the board right look at this hadn't he paid the telephone bill before the due date this is your third third one in your activity right hadn't he paid the telephone bill before the due date so how are you going to make this question a passive voice one yes hadn't the telephone bill right so this is the subject right so you can just forget about this part hadn't the telephone bill been paid before the due date by him kiyana ka nathath kamak ne right hadn't the telephone bill been paid before the due date if you want you can put by him by him nathi una teka waradi ne right because by him is not very significant right it's not a name just a pronoun okay i hope it's clear now quickly finish the other four sentences now
right so we will discuss i hope the time is enough right okay pute look at the first one the plumber had not repaired the broken tap in the canteen right so the answer should be the broken tap had not been repaired by the plumber in the canteen or otherwise you can say the broken tap in the canteen had not been repaired by the plumber okay both answers are correct right next one the lawyer had signed the document before he submitted it to the courts the document had been signed by the lawyer before he submitted it to the courts right third one hadn't he paid the telephone bill before the due date the telephone bill hadn't been paid sorry hadn't the telephone bill paid before the due date right next one had thamara or thamara sent the invitations for the english day had the invitations been sent by thamara for the english day or otherwise you can write had the invitations for the english day been sent by thamara next one had kumaran completed the work before she went to sleep so the answer should be had the work been completed by kumaran before she went to sleep or otherwise you can say had the work been completed before she went to sleep by kumaran right so either way you can write sahanya has a problem what is it had the telephone bill not been had the telephone bill not been paid by putte it should be hadn't kene ki sarah ten non right hadn't the telephone bill been paid hadn't the telephone bill been paid sahanya it should be like that right okay so any questions so if i just give a summary of the lesson we started with active voice past perfect right we started with active voice past perfect tense we discussed the verb form right we took some examples right and then we moved to passive voice we again discussed how to make a past perfect into passive form right we did some extra activities and then the activities in your textbook so we have uh, completed the lesson in your text on past perfect passive right i hope you don't have any question because we still didn't get any questions right hope the lesson is clear and i hope to see you in a next session soon goodbye children